Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to make these super cute bows. Look how stinking cute they are. And I made them in a whole bunch of different colors. So I'll show you how I made it, where I got this ribbon from and all of that fun stuff. And I'll also have links down below if I could find it all. Um, but yeah, these bows are so cute and they look even better on a project. Like you could pop a, um, a little jemmy on here. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. If you wanted to just like pop a little jemmy on here, look how cute that looks, right? You could do any color jemmies and on a project, these just look so gorgeous. I've been using these for my, um, for my castle cards. Like, look how cute that looks. All right, so let me show you guys how I did this and what you're going to need. Okay, so what you're going to need is the ribbon. Okay, so the ribbon I am using is from Hobby Lobby. They have a lot of different colors. I just have these six because these are the colors that I like, but it is a, it is a 5 8 inch size ribbon. And I got them half off when they have um, ribbon on sale. So then it was only $2. Oh, sorry. It's 7 8 inch ribbon. Um, and they're all like that. And they're by Ribbon and Boutique. Or, yeah, by the Ribbon Boutique. Some of them have a little different packaging. Like, you guys can see this is a little different. Um, but they're, you know. And they're all, like, in different parts of um, the ribbon section. They're, like, not, they're not all next to each other. So you don't see, like, all the colors in a row. They're just, like all over with their appropriate like I guess colors so like pinks are together and like um aqua colors are together they have like a turquoisey color as well but I only picked up these so it is a 7 8 inch size so make sure you are getting that one I did get this idea from um paper bow lover she is paper bow lover on instagram and she actually sent me some of these in some happy mail and I just fell in love. So I needed to get me some, but also make it easier to make them. The other thing you're going to need is some thread. You want some thick thread or something that's not going to break on you when you're tying. So I'm using this one. This is by We Are Memory Keepers. And it's like thicker than normal thread, which is why I really like it. Um, and I will have a link down below to this as well in case you guys wanted to get this But it's just gold and it is thicker like sturdy thread. So I know it's not going to break on me So you're going to need that you're going to need some scissors You're going to need a ruler and then the last thing that I'm using because you could totally do this with just hot glue But it just takes you like 20 minutes for one bow. So I got to this tool and It looks like it doesn't look like anything, but this is called a bodabra Okay, I will have a link to this down below as well. And I just bought mine on Amazon. This was the packaging. It does come like with a wire and it comes with instructions on how to make some like big bows. I'm not using this wire. I tried it, I didn't like it. It comes with this thing for measuring, but I'm just gonna use my own. Um, but it teaches you how to make a couple of um, other bows. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm actually doing this right. Oh, and it comes with like a top piece to like this thing that I don't use. You kind of just like push it down, but I don't use that. So I'm going to show you guys what I did to make this, um, those bows right there. Okay. So I have my ruler here. I'm going to grab my ribbon. So let's say, I don't know, I guess we're going to grab this color. So what you need to do, and Nancy gave me these measurements, but again, she was using hot glue for this. And I was like, I really need to just make this easier on myself if I need to stock up. So I'm cutting this first piece at five inches, okay? And then the second piece, I'm gonna cut at three inches. So you need eight inches of ribbon for every bow that you are making. Okay, so the second one is at three inches. So that's all you're going to do for the cutting for that part with the ruler. So I'm gonna put my ruler aside the next thing you're going to do is take this smaller um, three inch piece. You're going to fold it in half. Okay. I'm folding it half this way. And you guys could see that the ribbon is not double sided, but I don't mind. Um, so fold it in half the long way and then fold it in half the other way. 
Now where it, like the fold is here, you guys can see that that's where I folded it originally. Where that is, is where you're going to kind of cut, but you're gonna cut at an angle to get to the corner. So wherever your corners are gonna go, and I see I didn't do my folding real good or I just didn't do my cutting good. So I'm lining it up with the corners, if you guys could tell, most of the corners. And then I'm just cutting this at an angle. Okay, so now I have something that looks like this. And that looks like this now. And I'm gonna unfold this. And now I already have this pretty much folded this way. So I'm gonna roll this one backwards. Not roll, but fold it backwards. You guys see what I did here? So that's another like fold right there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this piece and fold it backwards, just like that. So you could see where I have all of those lines, but I'm folding it up. I'm just gonna situate it right here for a second just to hold it in place. I'm also gonna cut a piece of my thread, which I should have done first. So I'm just cutting like a piece of thread. Let me lift this up. This piece of thread is gonna go right in the middle. Make sure you just have like some edges sticking out. That's gonna be there just to hold it in place. I'm zooming in a little bit. And now this part, you're kind of just like folding it. So something like this, and you're gonna make it about like, what, let's see what length this is. So I want it like approximately this length, but you want the middle pieces to be overlapping. So let me tell you, once it's folded, this is approximately almost two inches. It's like an inch and 15 sixteenths. So pretty much, <laughs> two inches, but you have this. Now you're going to fold this. You see like where these ends are in the back. You're gonna fold this towards you like this. You're gonna hold it up the same way that we had the other one. And now you're gonna fold these pieces back just like we did on the other one. And because this is like a ribbon, it folds easily. So now I have something that looks like this and this is going to be our bow part. So, I'm going to take this other piece and I'm going to actually going to flip this over so that the ends are facing up. Okay, because this is the back side as well of this one. And now I'm going to take this, I'm going to arrange them together so that they're like in, like even in the center. And then I'm going to put this both together on my bow maker. And I'm just gonna line it up until it's like in the center. That looks good. You could put it all the way down, you don't have to. I pretty much just leave it like that. And then you just start tying your thread. And this is so much easier to do than hot gluing every single piece. Easier to me. And the only part that I'm gonna hot glue is just the gold thread to hold it in place in the back. So right now I tied three knots. I'm just gonna take this off. This is what our bow is going to look like. Just something like this. And I'm gonna take these pieces and I'm just gonna roll them around. That's why you also like to have it a little longer. So roll that around the center and just hold that in place. And then you're just gonna put a dab of hot glue right here. Just a little bit of hot glue. And that is the train again. And I'm gonna press down with my finger, but I'm wearing like one of those silicone things, so it's okay. And it just kind of like makes the glue dry faster and just flatter. So now I'm gonna cut off the ends of my thread here, because I don't need that anymore. Oops, I missed. Okay, so now I have that. And here is your bow. Now you could just shape it. And what I actually did with all those other bows is I took like a round tool and I put it in between the bow to kind of pop these out a little bit. Otherwise they just stay flat. So I'm actually using my flower making tool but using the back end of it. And I'm just gonna put this inside my bow and roll it around in there a little bit and it makes it fluffier. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So that way it's just not so flat. And 
and there you go there is your bow and it's so cute so it's super easy i love this tool it was only about 14 dollars on amazon i don't know if there's a cheaper place to get it and this is the bodabra mini in case you guys wanted to get it but yeah super easy so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial Rewatch this video if you need to to see how i did it again and i'm just gonna go back to making some more bows so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it Thank you so much for watching. Check the description box down below for product information and links to everything. And I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye.